Hello Virgo, it is Lulu. This will be your indie read. And of course, <clears throat> I believe we're back on schedule <laughs> when it comes to doing the love reads as the first read of the month. But let's get into it. All right. What are Virgo's feelings for the person in close proximity to them at this time? Because this could be anyone I'm going to keep that in mind. I'll have to do another video about the love reads. What are love lovers? <laughs> Maybe you do have a lover. What are Virgo's feelings towards their lover? I guess. Okay. What are Virgo's feelings towards their lover? Thank you. Stay optimistic, Virgo. New love is on the horizon. I'm gay. Okay. Retreat. Okay. Chemistry is coming under. Stay optimistic. Passion is coming under new love and keep an open mind is coming under retreat. All right. So maybe you don't have a lover, but you got love on the brain. Okay. Let's figure it out. So, um, it looks like there will be someone coming in, stepping in. So this may be a future tense read. Uh, they may not be what your normal type is. Okay. And we do need Virgo to chill out. But they pick yourself, okay? And you're picky for the right reasons. I'm sure you have your reasons, your reservations about certain types of people or what have you. However, you may um, want to open up because what I'm seeing here is when you meet the person, okay, when you meet the person, you may go back and forth with yourself. All right. I don't know if it's someone that you already know, but it says new love. Maybe it's a new love interest or a new interest in someone that, you know, wasn't actually a factor at first. OK. There's going to be chemistry because this person is going to show you something. Uh, this may be that you're in close proximity to this person. Right. You may. Um, this really look how close they are. And he's showing her something. Here's the thing. Of course, you want to keep to your morals, right? Because the chemistry may be so strong between you and this person, even though it's something that's off about them to you, right? Uh, and sometimes that pushes a person to either open up or close up even more so, which will have them to really not ex be able to experience a person, right? Experience and have it um, jump, leap into an opportunity to experience a person, right? Excuse me. And they may do something that has you really uh, stand off. It's like, you may go back and forth with yourself and it may have you in a space where you feel kind of like conflicted because you can't figure out why would I be thinking about this person? The, the you know, the connection is strong, but they are kind of, I'm not used to something that they say or do, right? But they do want you to remain optimistic, stay in positive vibes, right? Um, know that everything is working out for your betterment. Excuse me with this, because what I'm getting, what you want, what you seek is seeking you, right? The, the um, adage, what you seek is seeking you, okay? So once you put your intentions out there, you will need to be open to um, all of the possibilities. It's very important. Can't express that enough to you. All right. This may be a date night, a date um, that turns into a walk that, you know, how some dates turn into a small adventure or something like that. Let me see here. What do you have here for Virgo? Clarify what you would like before we move forward. The emperor, a boss, a father type. Maybe this person is a father. Maybe they have their own business. But I feel like they're very much so in charge of who they are and they're hard to read. This may be someone who's hard to read, okay? You're trying, like, you. they may discuss certain things with you and you see something different. But that shouldn't have you in a space where you are making a decision based on what you see instead of what is presented right in front of you. Um, because um, if you allow things to unfold, there may be something that you are learning from this experience with this person. Okay, let me see. Like I said, I think this person will be in close proximity to you. What do you have here for Virgo, please? And thank you, honey. The sun. This is going to happen out of nowhere. All right. And it's going to surprise you. 
And the reason that it's going to surprise you is because you um, have been waiting for quite some time. You may even have strict, strict boundaries, four of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. You may have some of the strictest boundaries, and this person does as well. So you also want to keep that in mind as well, that you are not the only one in this world who looks at things a certain type of way. And maybe you will find interest in the way that this person views the world, people, situations. How does the clock work, right? What makes the clock malfunction, right? This is what we do when we learn people, all right? What, is, what will be this person's feelings towards Virgo? Since I feel like this is a future tense. Keep an open mind. Make the effort. Love yourself first. What comes under keep an open mind? Express your love. What comes under make the effort? Children. I figured this person had children. Heart to heart conversations is coming under love yourself first. So, like I said, I did pick up a lot of talking it may even be late night talking or when you have time to discuss things with this person. But um, they will be viewing you as someone who has a lot of self-respect. Maybe even you have children. But there's something about you that brings out their childlike energy. Helps them loosen up, okay? What kind of Virgo are they missing with? Mm, okay. Because Virgos are very interesting people. That's if you ask me. But if you ask someone else, I don't know. Because they be thinking y'all stuck up. Y'all ain't. Okay. It's just that y'all, you know, have y'all. I guess it depends on your rising, too. Whatever. But no two Virgos are the same. We'll say that. All right. So this person will be pushing you to... Um, really open up. Um, they may even be fearful of rejection, so they want you to, um, you know, make a couple of the first moves when it comes to stuff, make the plans, things of that nature. And I think that they'll give you cues about that um, in conversation. Uh, this person is also someone who has their their particulars they may be a little stickler about connections and people and stuff like that so read the room basically uh with this person don't explain yourself a whole lot maybe an issue okay so i feel like this is what i'm getting This person may see you as someone that's worth making the effort, but they don't know exactly how to do it, right? So sometimes this may be the kind of person, right? That's where I got that passion from in the first part about how you feel toward you'll be feeling towards them or the advice in the in that first part. Because you're someone different for them too. There's someone different for you, and you are different to them. Y'all are meeting each other for a reason, okay? Y'all are meeting one another for a reason. And we do have the eclipse coming up, but we got the, the planets are doing the, a number. Do you hear me? I got a notification the other day from my one of my apps that the planets, it's a, something going on. And look, I have to go day by day, okay? I think if I get too caught up in astrology shit, I, I'll be um, doing the most, okay? And I'll tell them where y'all ready to go then. All right. What is this connection between Virgo and this person? I'm just going to take a real quick look. Because we learn something from everyone that we meet. And that's why, you know, sometimes people cut folks off a little too early. Miracles happen. Give the universe your clear intention. That goes with that optimism. Walk, a, you know, push set your intentions know that it's done, begin to walk in that greatness that is to come and move on about your damn business. Let me see here. Enjoy where you are for soon you will be somewhere else. So just keep your um, intentions high, but also try not to question each and everything. Question the right things, okay? Because I really feel like this person likes the way that you express yourself. They like that, you know, you get straight to the point, but it also puts them in a space where they don't know. It's kind of like, 
Like if I met somebody that watched the videos, which I would pray that I don't, but if I met somebody that watched the videos on YouTube, they may think that, oh my goodness, she probably liked this in public. I'm not, okay? But they would have to get to know me, right? But it would take an open-minded person. So that's kind of what I'm getting with this expressing yourself and the way that you express yourself. It may have a lot to do with your love language. So check that out because that's what they're picking up. So let's see here. What is these children? That this person is feeling towards Virgo. They, you know. That may be a game changer. The tower. That may be a game changer for this type of person. Because they're trying to figure out. They may be in their life. Um, this may be someone with a lot of money. Or has dealt with a lot of sugar babies. Whether it's a man or a woman. Because in this day and age. Women be sugar mamas or something. Okay. But they may also be going through some type of breakup. Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> again, Aries energy. So this is, Aries is doing a lot in the astros that's coming down to earth though. Aries. But what I'm getting here is that this may be a game changer. A different perspective is what they're going to have to look at this as. Like they've ended relationships before because of children or um, it's either because of children or because a person, because of children, which could mean Either a person doesn't ha um doesn't want children, or they have small children. This is a very this is a very picky person. Okay, get used to it because you know y'all got y'all picking this. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, but that may usually be a a game changer for this person. The four of wands. It may be their living situation. Um, they may ask a lot of questions about your children, which can be kind of off putting because it's like why um you know let me know what was what. what why are you asking me all these questions? Okay, because people like to, you know, dig, and then you have to figure out why are you digging like that, right? It's like interrogation. What do you, what are you looking for? I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so there's a conversation that the two of you will be having, and you want to make sure, like I wouldn't uh, try to appease the person with the conversation, but I would have a lot of self respect, say things that don't, um, in my opinion, you can do whatever you want to. But saying things that really put you in a space where you're feeding off of, you don't want to feed too much off of what they say and what they do to appease them because you're going to have to keep doing that. And that means that you're going to have to be very mindful moving forward of everything that you say and everything that you do because there may be a tricky situation with this. I'm getting that with this love yourself first and the heart to heart conversations, right? So with your self-respect, they are drawn in. They really like you. They you know, adore you, they may be all over you, you know what I'm saying? And then, but trying to get deeper into conversation, they, you know, it goes like, um, this may not be it, okay? So be careful with that. Don't push it, right? This person is about loyalty and they will push or test the loyalty in some type of way. Usually when people hear stuff like that, they're like, oh, if we're gonna be playing, it's not necessarily a game. You know, when you're getting to know people, there are, um, Things that people do, you do things yourself to figure out how to operate in collaboration with another person, right? What is this heart to heart conversations for Virgo? See, that may be a challenge for them. Something that you say may be a challenge for them. Uh, try not to be, oh, so maybe, um, some of you may be in a space where you begin to talk about your exes and talk about your fantasy wedding and all of these things. It may be a little weird, okay? I'm just saying that's why that seven of wands is there. Like that, that is, you know, they may become very standoffish or disconnect if you um, go too far. So that that's just in a scenario. It doesn't have to be that that's what you talk about. What is this hard to hard conversation that's putting this person off? Yeah, four of wands. They close off to certain things, certain things they don't want to talk about. And if you keep pushing, they will like, they probably will block you or walk away. Okay. So you have to keep that in mind. All right. Take your time, you know, portion, portions, pieces, breadcrumbs. Um, you know, a little goes a long way, right? All right. What is this? Uh, love yourself first, this self-respect. See? 
Knight of Cups. They they adore you. They want to, you know. The Knight of Cups can be um when you like the infatuation stage or when someone is putting their best foot forward because that's how they feel about you at first. And moving on further down the line, they begin to, you know, you become closer or you become more open and move into that seven of one. So you want to be careful. All right. What is the best advice for Virgo? I'm going to go. The page of swords. Take your time. Be mindful of your conversations here. Um, if you um, are around this person, if you work with this person, close proximity with this person, you don't want to talk shop with them unless you let them lead the conversation in that way. But don't talk shop with them. And it's up to you. Read the room. Um, what else? With that page of swords, um, you may come to a space where you're trying to prove your intellect. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that because that's what pages do, right? They try to, pages try to say that they are an expert at something that they ain't got no clue about. They read three paragraphs. Okay. All right. Love you. And I'll talk to you later.